I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test papers on quadratic functions. The equation here is Peter owns a business that sells photographs. The demand function for his business can be modeled by the equation p of x equals to minus 0.5x plus 8. Cost function c of x is equal to 3x plus 7 where x is the quantity sold in thousands. How many photos must be sold to break even? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. The idea is these are test questions, so practice. Okay, let's try to understand some of these terms which are mainly used in economics. When we say that the demand function is P of X and cost is C of X, and we are talking about uh, break even, how are they related? So uh, we have one function which is revenue. Revenue is equals to the demand function P of X times number of items sold. That is important thing to understand. And then we already have cost function, right? Which in our case is C of X. Now profit, since we are talking about X, the item sold in thousands, profit in terms of X will be revenue, the money which you generate by selling these items, take away the cost, right? So it is revenue minus cost. And when we say break even, so break even means that profit is zero. That means both revenue and cost, they kind of match up. So whatever you had invested in the business has come out of it in the form of revenues. So at this time, the profit is zero. That is what we mean. And that is how these functions are related. Perfect. Now let's start answering the question. How many photos must be sold to break even? That is to say, at break even, profit is going to be zero, right? So we are looking for profit to be zero. And as I said, profit is difference of revenue and cost. What is revenue? Revenue is demand function times x. So we'll begin with writing revenue as profit times x. Profit is given to us as this function, correct? So let me highlight this. So we are now writing profit, I mean, sorry, uh, the demand function. Profit as difference of revenue and cost, where revenue is product of demand function and items sold. So demand function is minus 0.5x plus 8, right? Times x, so we'll multiply this by times, x. Now that is the revenue part minus the cost function which is 3x plus 1. The linear function given to you is the cost function, right? Put that in bracket. So I hope this equation is very clear to you. When we say break even, so break even means what? Means profit is zero, right? So, so we'll equate profit to zero for break even. Break even means profit zero and now we can actually expand and simplify so when you expand you get minus 0.5 x square plus 8x this gives you minus 3x minus 7 combine the like terms we get 0 equals to minus 0.5 x square and when you combine 8 minus 3 is 5 so you get plus 5x minus 7 right so that is how you can get a quadratic equation. And now the idea is to figure out what is the value of x, which can give you zero profit, right? Now in such an equation, we can apply the quadratic formula, right? So the quadratic formula, as you remember, is uh, x will be equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, right? So that is the quadratic formula to be applied, where a is minus 0 0.5, b is 5, and c is minus 7. So let's apply this formula and find the value of x. 
Now, I actually prefer to write all the equations with positive leading coefficient. So let me rewrite this equation as 0 equals 2. I'll multiply both sides by minus. Uh, this is not necessary. Okay, this is not necessary. 5x plus 7, but I prefer to keep this positive. You can take all the terms to left side and do it. Now, what is x equal to? Let's calculate. So x is equal to minus b, which is 5, plus minus square of 5, which is, you can write minus 5 square, minus 4ac, so 4 times 0 0.5 times 7, right, divided by 2 times 0 0.5. 2 times 0 0.5 is 1, so we get 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus half of 4 is 2, 2 times 7 is 14, okay, divided by 2 times 0 0.5 is 1, correct? Now, we can actually use the calculator and figure this out. So, we have 5 plus or minus, uh, let's calculate the square root part, which is 5 plus or minus 11 square root, right? So, 11 square root is kind of less than 5. So we will take the uh, positive or negative values. We could take actually both in this particular case, right? So uh, so what do we have here is 5 minus square root of 11, which is equals to 1.6833. So one answer is, so there are two solutions to this, correct? So one could be 1.6833683. Since the quantities are given 1000, I'm taking three decimal places. The other could be 5 plus square root 11, which is 8.316, right? So, so we get two possible solutions in this particular case. It's normally uh, looking forward to the lowest value which can satisfy your condition, right? So we can say x will be equal to, uh, remember it's given x is the quantity sold in thousands. So it is 1.683 thousand, correct? So, so we could say the quantity to be sold is 1684. So that is the minimum quantity to be sold when the profit will be zero or will reach a stage of break even, correct? Well, the higher value here is uh, 8,300 and you can round it to one higher, 17, right? But the answer should be this. So this is the break even point and of course, after that, the profit will rise and then it will decrease and again come to this level when the production is around 8,000 units. So I hope this helps you to understand the concept. So the answer will be uh, the number of items to be sold is 1684, right? I hope that helps. Feel free to post your questions and your suggestions. If you like, that will be great. Thank you and all the best.